Almost all the electricity used in the world today ultimately comes from one source, the sun. Oil, coal and gas come from long dead plants and animals that have harvested the sun's light to grow. We dig it up and burn it in power stations to generate electricity. Using solar panels is a way to turn sunlight straight into electricity, but how do they do this? To answer that question, we first need to take a closer look at sunlight itself. Sunlight is made up of many different colours of light, as you know if you've seen a rainbow. You can think of light as a flow of tiny particles, called photons. So sunlight is really a flow of many photons of different colours. The different colours correspond to how much energy each photon carries. A solar panel is made up of several solar cells, electrically connected together. The solar cells are the parts that harvest the light. To see how they work, let's zoom in on the atoms that make up the solar cell. Solar cells are made of semiconductors, materials which normally don't allow current to flow, but do under certain conditions. This lattice here represents the atoms and electrons that make up a semiconductor. Most solar cells are made of silicon, but other semiconductors such as perovskites can also be used. Semiconductors absorb certain colours of light depending on the exact material. So when our stream of photons shines on a solar cell, some are absorbed and some pass through. When a photon is absorbed, it will dislodge an electron from the semiconductor lattice. This electron is now free and has enough energy to move around. To generate an electric current from our solar cell, we need a way to push the freed electrons out of it, otherwise they will fall back into their original position and lose energy. By making microscopically thin layers of the right combination of materials, we can create an electric field across the solar cell. This electric field pushes all the freed electrons in one direction. If we then attach wires to the solar cell, our electrons will get pushed down the wire. That's an electric current. We can then connect the wire to appliances and get the electrons to do useful things, like lighting a bulb. Once they've used their energy, the electrons will return to the other side of the device and reattach to the semiconductor lattice. One solar cell can't power much, but by connecting many cells in a panel, we can generate more electricity. Using many panels, we can power an entire house. So what's stopping us from powering the whole world with solar panels? Well, solar cells can't convert 100% of photons into usable energy. Current panels turn only about 17-20% to of incoming light to electricity. However, researchers across the world are working to make panels more efficient. The cost of panels is becoming cheaper, and as new technologies and processes become available, they will cost even less and generate even more power. With these advances, the future is bright for a solar powered world. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to learn more, check out our other videos at swiftsolar.com.